Here we are on the InfoWars. Breaking, Joe Biden denies U.S. government controlling the weather amid growing evidence major hurricanes used as weather warfare ahead of election. Alrighty, let's get into it. You know, whoever's in charge, because I don't think it's Biden, they shouldn't have mentioned this. Why? You know how when Trump was running for election, the Democrats said he would start World War III? But yet, under Biden, we're closer to World War III with Russia than ever before. And also, you have so many other conflicts, like Hamas, Israel, and now Lebanon's jumping on Israel. And then you have the Houthis. You know, um, there seems to be more conflict under Biden than Trump, just my opinion. In other words, the reverse is true. Anyway, let's continue with the article. Joe Biden on Wednesday denied that the federal government was controlling the weather and called accusations that it was involved in weather modification related to the Hurricane Helene and Milton beyond ridiculous. Now the claims are getting even more bizarre. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, a congresswoman from Georgia, is now saying that the federal government is literally controlling the weather. We're controlling the weather. It's beyond ridiculous, Biden said. People have been controlling the weather for, what, more than 50 years? It's called cloud seeding. But I'll admit, I never heard of it being used in warfare. So, Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeted, Yes, they can control the weather. It's ridiculous for anyone to lie and say it can't be done. Margie Taylor Green goes on to list the Secretary of Commerce Weather Modification Act of 72. So now I'm just going to do a disclaimer. Disclaimer, these are my thoughts and opinions. In my opinion, is the government controlling the weather? It is possible. Cloud seeding. Would they deliberately alter the course of a hurricane to hit a whole lack of people? I don't know. But I look at what's happened. You had, what, two lefty degenerates try to eat Trump? So they're pretty desperate. And where did these two degenerates get the idea? From all the demonization from the, the propaganda outlets. So that tells me that they're very desperate. The saying goes, desperate times, desperate measures. The odd thing about all this desperation, if they're really so worried about him being president, maybe they should just let him be president for his second term. Why? If I remember correct, during his first term, he could barely get anything done because everybody stonewalled him. And if I'm not mistaken, you can only serve two terms. So, after that, he's done. It'll be like a bad dream for them. But if he doesn't win, he'll never go away. He can just keep trying. Moreover, people will lose faith in the election system, and that's a huge can of worms. Well, anyway, take care out there in clown world.